Hello guys, welcome back to this series of videos that will show you some useful tips and tricks for Eagle Cat. Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize the outer diameter for a VIA. In this example, I have placed the VIA inside a VGA package and you can see that there's clearly a conflict. Uh, if I look at the dimensions, dimensions of my VIA, I'm using a default size, which is 13.7, and I can try to lower it but you can see that there's still very little space in between the outer diameter and the pad and it's gonna cause issues during production. So I wanna change that. But you can see that the, um, this part is grayed out. I cannot really just type in any number I want uh, for the outer diameter. Number one, we wanna know, um, well one, where does this number come from? Two, how can I change it to be whatever number I want? And number three, how do I know what's a um, convenient size uh, for my BGA package? So one document that I want to share with you guys is this one. And this has been very, very helpful for me. It's, it's, uh, and I'm going to put it in the description below. And this is pretty much the, it, it's a guideline for BGAs. And it tells you everything you need to know for laying out the board and specifying uh, dimensions and all of that. In this case, I'm using a 0.8 millimeter pitch uh, device. So I'm, referring, I'm refer, uh, referring to this section particularly. It's gonna change depending on whichever pitch you are using. But here you can see that it's telling you what drill size and what outer diameter uh, it's recommended for your VIA. So first we need to change it to be number 10 for the hole and number 19 for the outer diameter. Let's go ahead and change just the drill because again, we cannot change the outer diameter yet for to a number 10. And then you can see the outer diameter is very, it's very, very big. Um, so let's go ahead and change that. First, let's, let's find out where this number is coming from. If we go to the DRC and go to this tab, annular ring, you'll see all these numbers. And these are all dictating the size for the VIA, for the, the outer diameter of the VIA. This is specifying the rest ring for the VIA. And the rest ring is pretty much the uh, size from the edge of the hole to the edge of the VIA. And it, this is represented at, uh, as a percentage of the drill that you use. In this case, the default is 25% uh, of the drill. So if we work out the math, let me open up my notepad. This can be very simply uh, put into an equation where I can find my rest string by simply taking my drill and multiplying it by the percentage, which in my case, it's 10, because that's what it recommends on the guideline, times my percentage, which is 25 by default, this is giving me 2.5 mils. However, this is already outside my uh, minimum uh, range. So what the, the program is going to do is it's just gonna bump it up to eight. So now we wanna find the outer diameter uh, it's very simple. You just need to add the drill plus one side of the rest string plus the other side of the rest string. Because again, the rest ring is just taking into account one side of the VIA in this two dimensional plane. So that put into a, a, an equation, we can just uh, put um, my outer diameter being, being equal to uh, two times the rest string. And I'm just going to use an R to uh, refer to that plus my drill. When I work out the numbers here, uh, I know I, I have two times my rest string, which was bumped up to eight. And then I'm gonna add my drill, which is 10 from the guideline, uh, what they recommend, and this is giving us 26. So if you remember, that's what we had in the outer diameter. So that's great, we know where this number comes from. Now, how do we make it any size we want, right? We, we saw that it needs to be 19. How do we make it 19? So we just need to go back to our DRC and we need to change this number, the percentage. That's what's changing the size of my outer diameter. So let me just pull up this uh, notepad again. So one, one way of doing this is uh, you can take these two equations. Let me just erase this for now. And combine them into one. And you can do that by simply replacing your rest ring in this equation using uh, the equivalents. 
which is the drill times the percentage. So once you do that, your outer diameter in comes out to be two times my whoop, two times my drill times my percentage plus my drill again. Remember, we're just placing this expression here and we end up with um, this formula. And so once we have this formula, we just need to solve for percentage. When you work it out, if, if you work out the math uh, on your own, uh, you'll see that this comes out to be 45%. So if we change this number to 45, click apply, uh, we see that nothing happened, it's still 26. And you'll, you're probably wondering why this probably doesn't work. But here's the thing: let's 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 punch in the numbers, and then let's go back to our first equation here. Now we're saying that we want our um, drill. Well, the drill is still 10, and we are multiplying that by 0.45, and this is giving us um, 10 times 0.45. It's giving us 4.5. Of course, that makes sense. Uh, so this 4.5, it's, it's also outside of our minimum range. And so the program is, again, going to bump it up to 8. And so you're not going to see any changes. In order for you to see the change, you need to make the boundary uh, smaller than this number. So we can just make it 4. Let's just go ahead and make it 4. Hit Apply. And now we can check our vias and there it is it's uh it has an outer diameter of 19 and a drill of 10 just like the guideline dictates and you can do this with whatever size you need as long as you have uh, that percentage and the boundaries on the drc uh, set correctly and well this is it for me guys uh, i hope you find this useful and uh, stay tuned for 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 the next video thanks for watching